Good evening, everybody. Sunday evening. I have my water here, half and half. Soda water with quinine and filtered water. Good water tastes like grapefruit to me. I talked earlier today after getting home from the non-denominational independent church, a little frustrated, took a nap, watched a movie, and now I'm in the mood to teach spiritually and scripturally about the number three. Now three has been taken to a place by humanity men and a word is used in books thicker than the Bible trying to convince you of their belief which I'm not even going to say but the Lord rose on the third day so the number three of zero one through ten the meaning of the number three is resurrection and that's most important because it's part two of our faith and our belief and our salvation is in the resurrection, quickened made alive now, the early out resurrection, quickening our mortal body by spirit word, born of the Holy Spirit of truth, waiting for ascension and then ascending into paradise, third heaven, glory, spiritual realm, eternal life, immortality. Three, resurrection. Now, I'm going to read to you about three here. At the end of the Gospel of John, I have four, three mechanical tools and one spiritual teacher. I'm the truth teacher, and I have four tools to find truth. One of my number three tool is last, middle, first, finish line, middle of the race, beginning of the race at the starting line. And I'm reading the finish line here in the Gospel of John. 21st chapter, beginning at verse 12. And I'm going to expand the number three. Zero, non-scripture. One, found in the Bible once. True witness, two. That's the minimum we're looking for, because the word verifies the word. Two scriptures saying the same thing. Three, major doctrine, and that's where I'm teaching today and establishing the principle of three major doctrine. The Gospel of John, the last chapter, 21, beginning at the 12th verse, Jesus, the Lord Jesus, saith unto them, Come and dine, and none of the disciples darest, I'm reading King James, ask him, Who art thou? Knowing that it was the Lord. I always say, Always put one of the titles, either Christ Jesus or Lord Jesus, with the name. Lord Jesus, or in the scriptures it says, Jesus then cometh and taketh bread. I'm reading King James, taketh, T-H. Taketh bread and giveth them and fish likewise. This is now the third time that the Lord showed himself to his disciples third time. Okay? The teaching is three. After that, he was risen from the dead. Walked the face of the earth 40 days. And he was seen of 500 believers at one time. As well as many others at many different times. So then they had dined Jesus, the Lord Jesus, or Christ Jesus, saith unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these, than his fellow humans or disciples or friends? Do you love me more? Peter is what is being asked of Peter the first time. He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, the Lord Jesus said unto Peter, Feed my lambs. If you're going to feed them, what do you feed them? 
I'll bring that point up a little bit later. He saith unto him again a second time, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest I love thee. And he, the Lord Jesus, saith unto him, Feed my sheep. The first time lambs, second time sheep, but this is the second time feed. Feed them what? Okay, let me find my place here. Verse 16. He saith to him again. Oh, that's the second time. All right, feed my sheep. Verse 17. Verse 17. He saith unto him a third time. One, two, three. A third time, Simon Peter, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? And P Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. And Jesus, the Lord Jesus, saith unto him, feed my sheep. And as I ask early, feed them what? Spirit word truth the holy spirit of truth and don't forget the truth the lord left the heavenly spiritual realm came into our world to do the will and plan of the father who sent him and bear witness to the truth and those that love truth and are born of the truth Hear the words of the Lord, hear the teachings of the Lord, hear the truth of the Lord. And this is the third time Peter was asked, do you love me, Peter? A principle is being set here, an example to you and I as we read. Truth is found in repetition. And two is a true witness, two verses of Scripture verifying each other, and three is major doctrine. You got three scriptures that say the same thing. It's major doctrine. Preach it and teach it as truth. Feed and edify the body with truth, something you found in the Word three times. If it's in there zero or once, do not make majors out of minors. If it's in there two times, that's a true witness. Begin there. And try to find it three or four times. Four is locked in major doctrine. And there are some issues in the scripture double locked in major doctrine. Eight verses of scripture saying the same thing. And here I just read you. He asked Peter three times in a row. Do you love me? And if you do, feed my sheep. And feed my sheep what? Teach them, edify them, that they learn to love, and to read and study spirit, word, truth. Let no man deceive you. Yes, it's a spiritual battle, but the spirit of falsehood and wickedness is behind and through men, smooth-talking preachers from pulpits. 60 to 70% of the preachers who are getting rich and wealthy, and especially on TV, we're never called of the Lord to enter the pulpit or teach or preach. I am one of the called ones. I am one of 26 that is living today. I am a spirit teacher. I am a truth teacher. I teach from the word of God, and I find my two and three and four scriptures that say the same thing and reveal them to you. That's my job. Spirit teacher, truth teacher, Eugene Bear, found on YouTube, over a hundred teachings archived under B period Eugene Bear or are you Eugene Bear? I love you, but I love truth more. And I love the Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, raised from the dead, ascended and seated. I love him. I love the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lord God. I love the Supreme Being. Yava, and the sent one extension of self, Yahoshua, Savior, Shua, Savior.
Bye.